the cover, uh, a very important picture, Marco Polo crossing the desert. Let me tell you about this story because uh, it might surprise you. <laughs> so I get to uh, this sand dune in Dunhua. It's very famous. It must have been even famous in Marco's day because uh, they call it the singing sand dune. And he's the first to describe the sound of the wind as it comes over the top, as it comes over the top of this sand dune, thousand foot high, and he says it sounds like singing. So this is the singing sand dunes of uh, Dunhuang. It's one of the highest in the world, a thousand feet. And um, anyway, I got there and I was just totally disappointed because when I first saw the scene, yes, it was a beautiful dune, but there were also several hundred camels at the base of it and several hundred tourists waiting to get on those camels and travel around this large dune. And I thought like, oh my God, how am I going to make a picture out of this? Well, we got back in the Land Cruiser and drove around the mountain and I started seeing the possibilities as it got later in the day, as I looked at the backlight and I thought, hmm, I need to backlight this situation. So we waited till, this must be about five o'clock. The sun's at about 45 degree angles. It's coming up over the top of the dune, cresting, making these very nice shapes as it crests over the top of these dunes. And here are come the travelers. I won't call them tourists at this point, but, oh, and unfortunately all those camels have numbers on them 206 105 33 98 so i thought how do i get those out of the picture well i underexposed so i shot it backlit the sun is coming over the top they there are these camels therefore are in shadow and i get this picture of marco polo crossing the taklamakan and you can't see the numbers and the fact that there are six tourists there on a well-trod trail being led around the mountain. But as I said, my job is to uh, give you the sense of travel in the 13th century. So I think I did my job.